guys, it's your girl Carrie. And this past weekend, I hosted a couples game night. And this was for our Wadigam crew. And Wadigam stands for Why Did I Get Married? And about 10 years ago, uh, six couples uh, got together and we would rent a large cabin up in the mountains during the MLK weekend. And we kind of fell off for a little while because, you know, family commitments, people were going back for their advanced degrees, etc. So we realized this was the 10th year that we would have been doing it. So we got together, did a game night, and we were planning for our next getaway. So now, you know, I wanted to record all the details on how to put together a game night, but it is really hard to try to record and put everything together at the same time. I'm just really not good at that. And then also, I have to take into consideration that I am involved and I'm playing the games and I'm present and you don't want to be whipping a camera out trying to record the night's activities especially when some of the folks value their privacy and don't want to be on social media. I then thought about doing a clean with me video to show the aftermath of what was going on after the party happened and have you guys uh, you know come along with me to clean but my battery died on my camera so I didn't want to wait to charge that up. So what I am going to do is a what's in my bar video and show you how I stock my bar and prepare for a night of entertaining. And I have partnered with New Air and they are the makers of small appliances and in particular uh, beverage coolers. That was perfect for me because in my bar, I used to have a bar refrigerator and that finally conked out after 15 years. So this was the perfect solution to replace that uh, fridge bar and it could not have came at a better time. So come along with me and I will show you what's in my bar. So when you come down to our basement, there's a landing area, a foyer uh, next to the three niches. And as you come down that hallway, you will come right into our bar area. And here is our home bar tucked away in the far corner of the basement. So it's not, you know, um, obtrusive or anything. And give you an overview of the entire bar we want it to kind of look like you know that old world you know traditional type bar like what you see on cheers or something and we absolutely love how it turned out it's just timeless and beautiful all the wood and Right above the bar, we have, um, you know, trade ceilings. And, you know, folks can just kind of stand around the bar, line up, you know, have drinks, and, you know, watch the game, watch TV, or, you know, play PlayStation, or we might have, you know, a slideshow going, depending on what we're doing for our event. And so that's the overview of the bar. Now let's go on inside. So inside we have the shelving right here. This is pretty much empty because I did declutter everything and I'm trying to uh, only keep the things that I love. And I absolutely love these glasses right here. They're so masculine and beautiful. They have a leather insert with you know, copper details and that would just make a lovely man drink. Next we have our you know wine area now down here is um you know uh two cabinets and in here we just keep our soap and garbage bags and things like that on the right side and it's wonderful to have the running water sink because you know you can wash your uh dishes or your barware you can prep you can even put ice in here to you know keep things cold it's just a very useful uh, and then i have these two little corona salt and pepper shakers we're out of the salt. I need to refill. Now towards the upper part of the bar, the shelving. Well, at the top of our bar, see everything is wood paneled. You know, paneled in wood and molding. 
and it's just absolutely beautiful and so our bar is divided into our liquor is divided into two parts so over here we have all of the light liquors and each shelf has its own uh, type so the top shelf is tequila so we have various types of tequila then our next shelf is all of the vodkas by Ciroc we are definitely a Ciroc family my husband loves 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 Ciroc vodka and I don't know if you all are familiar but Ciroc has now started making the brandy so there's a French brandy and this really should go over on the other side with the dark um, liquor but we just wanted to keep the Ciroc's all together and then at the bottom we have other random types of a light um, I'll then in the center again we have our television and just a mirror and a couple of large bottles and then all the way over to the far right is where we keep all of our dark liquor and this is my absolute fave i am such a fan of the apple crown royal and just all the rest of the liquors and the different mixers at the bottom and then along the bottom we have a bunch of shot glasses and some tequila to take some celebratory shots and then next we have this absolutely gorgeous freestanding beverage uh, center that I got from New Air. And this particular beverage unit holds up to 126 cans. Now, in order to fill it with 126 cans, you would have to lay the cans pretty much on their side and pack them in. But me personally, I like to have my cans standing up facing forward so you can see exactly what you have. And like I said before, I just had a black fridge in here. And when the box arrived, there was a very minimal assembly required. The handle was just not attached, so we had to attach the handle to the unit. It just plugs right into the wall and you're good to go. And a one good feature about this unit is that the door is reversible. So if you did not want the handle on this side, you need it to be on this side for whatever reason, you can remove the hinges from it and turn the door upside down and then the handle would be on the opposite side. So I really like that. And another thing that I liked about this fridge is that it comes with keys, two sets of keys to lock the unit. And that's uh, pretty much if you have alcohol stored in there and you don't want a minor to get it. Or it could be if you want to control the consumption of drinks that your children are having. If you want them to ask you for a drink first and instead of just going into the fridge and grabbing a drink. Another thing that I like about this unit is that it does have a light. You can turn on the light at night so that you can see what's inside. And then there's a temperature control gauge. I don't know, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. It goes from one to seven, and seven would make your drinks the coldest. And another key feature of this unit is that it has a, um, you know adjustable shelving and then a partial slider shelf so if you wanted to do some tall items here and smaller items in the back you could do that and then the shelving is also totally customizable you can you know change the heights depending on what size drinks you actually uh, have and I really really like that I actually ended up taking out one of the shelving units so that I could have enough room for all the drinks that I decided to store. And then I left this little narrow space right here so that I could place my, you know, um, garnishes in here to keep them cool. The lemons, the limes, the cherries, anything that you need to dress your drinks uh, throughout the night, uh, you can put it in here. So I just left that little space there to slide those items in. And I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful unit and a beautiful upgrade from the refrigerator that I used to have here. Now this unit doesn't necessarily have to go in a bar space. It just fit perfectly for me in my bar space but it is a freestanding unit so you can put it anywhere that you deem suitable for your home and, and I will leave the link to this unit in the description box below. Now right above the unit between the um, countertop and the unit 
we were able to sneak in our DVD player for the TV and a lot of times we make custom DVDs to play on the bar with different types of drinks and how to make them and things like that so that fit perfectly right there we removed the PlayStation that we had because our PlayStation was so outdated and since there wasn't that much space we did not we opted not to put it back but normally um, at games in the past a bunch of guys would stand around and play PlayStation on the TV up there while uh, you know, they drank drinks during, uh, you know, Super Bowl or fight party or something like that. Then next to the fridge, we have our microwave, and this is perfect. So when we're just down in the basement hanging out, you know, if we had some food or snacks or things like that, popcorn, whatever the case may be, we can come over here and heat things up and hang out down here as a family. Another great reason to have a microwave here is because if we just didn't want to set up all of the chafing dishes and things like that, if people just came over and we had items that needed to be heated up or re heated you can just grab your plate bring it over here throw it in the microwave and you're good to go and then right below the microwave is just a drawer and it needs a little bit better organization but you know we have our essentials in here different kinds of paper plates um, different types of ice molds I love 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 the round ice molds that you can put in your drinks did a video on mocktails and cocktails a couple of years ago and I showed you how to use these ice molds those were the smaller size I think the larger ones are right here that was a smaller one and this one is the jumbo size then we just have a ton of plastic forks and knives and you know plastic utensils and a bunch of napkins. This one says, please don't drink and fly. Just a stack of napkins. So that's what's in that drawer. And since I'm already sitting on the floor, sorry for the lighting uh, this way, I'm just going to show you what's on the shelves. On the opposite side of the bar, we have all different types of um, glasses, some wine glasses, some champagne glasses. The next row, I just have coasters. You just want to make sure you put your coasters out in your bar so you won't mess up the finish. Always keep a Sharpie so that you could write your name on your um, solo cups if we choose or opt not to use, you know, glasses. You know, you always got to have a solo cup option. And here are the remote controls for the television and the VCR. And then here is just a bowl of matches whenever my husband and i travel or go to restaurants if the restaurant has matches we will collect the matches and we kind of just threw them in this bowl the bowl got too full so we stopped collecting the matches but there you are from all over the place and then on the bottom i have a extra then on the bottom shelf actually i need to figure out where to put this but this is the extra um, rack that was inside the beverage cooler that I did not need to use at the time and then an extra glass shelf one of the shelving uh, pieces we did not need at the bar because you know we needed more height for some of our drinks so that's what's in that section then moving right along to the next set of shelves we have you know kind of like Bahama reader or Bahama mama type glasses we have some beautiful um, old school martini uh, glasses I love the shape of these and I did a lot of decluttering I got rid of most of my colored stemware and just opted to keep everything clear that's an empty shelf because I decluttered and got rid of most everything and down here we just have some beer mugs you guys have seen these in the Dollar Tree a million times and these are great for beer for watching the game and things like that so these are nice manly beer mugs and then next to those large beer mugs we just have a regular um, beer glasses here so you can pour beer in those as well and then in our final section we have the cobalt blue champagne flutes from the Dollar Tree and then I have a section of various types of shot glasses I have these little copper shot glasses here some more of those mugs that you saw on the countertop and then just some regular shot glasses 
and down here on this row I just could not part with everything that we used to have back in the day so back in the day when we first moved into our home um, about 15 years ago when we were around 25 years old we used to host a huge Super Bowl party every year it was over a hundred people that would attend and we had all of these like shot glasses and they had like first down, second down, third down on them. And you would, uh, we would play these drinking games. And so we did not want to get rid of those just yet. But we did get rid of all the other items that went along with that set. They had like regular plastic cups and all kinds of, you know, stuff that came from like Party City that we got on clearance. And we used them over and over. But we do not host those humongous Super Bowl parties anymore. Um, we've kind of outgrown that and just moved into smaller, more intimate uh, setting type entertaining. We kept these just in case we decided to do another humongous Super Bowl party one day. And then you also just need to keep your solo cups because, you know, not every time you run to the bar or come to the bar, you're going to use barware. So solo cups are always good. And then finally, we have the little mini shot glass solo cups. When you're playing those little drinking games and things like that, these are perfect for that. And so that's it for all of the under the bar star storage. Now we're going to focus our attention on the back upper wall of the bar. And this is right above the microwave. And right here, I just basically set up for wine. So when you're, you know, setting up your bar stations, you want to make sure that you have a little bit of everything to accommodate all guests. And right now, I finally, finally found a red wine that I absolutely love. I typically don't like red wine because I find it too strong, too bitter. I like sweet drinks. And this right here, whoo. The San Antonio Cardinal Sweet Red is so, 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 so good. And everybody that I've shared this with have, you know, really, really liked it. But if you don't like sweet red wines, you probably won't like that because it's super duper sweet. So I have that. And then over here for our white wines, I actually have our specialty house wine. If you watched in one of my, I think, uh, Christmas gift guide videos, I shared with you how you could take your guests or give the gift of going out and making your own bottles of wine. That would be a perfect gift to give a spouse or someone that likes wine. So we made our own wine and we had like um, when you make the vat, I think you end up with 36 bottles of uh, wine. So this is the last of it that we have left. I did not put our labels on them, you know, for various reasons, but I just stuck on one of my little Very Carry uh, stickers just to show that it's our house wine. But that's our house wine. And then I just laid out some wine glasses to go with that. And... I have this uh, vintage uh, wine bottle opener. I absolutely love this thing. And you also want to have a foil cutter and that's just to cut the foil rim off the top of your wine so that you can expose the cork and take the cork out. And you also want to make sure you have some sort of an ice bucket and that can be a champagne bucket, any kind of bucket, but a place to put ice because you will need ice for the bar. And then on our bar, we also, when we were thinking of the design, if I could zoom out, as you can see, we put an outlet on that back wall because eventually what we want to do is design our own lighting um, display that has, you know, our family name or we want to name our bar something. We haven't come up with a bar name, but, you know, we want to put something really nice there that lights up. But in the meantime, during the different holidays and things like that, we'll put a wreath here to make it more festive. And then you can also use that outlet if we're making like uh, drinks, if you need to use a blender of some sort it's great to have an outlet somewhere on your bar. Some other bar essentials that you might want to have. You just want to have a bar wear set and I absolutely love this set. You guys know I like to collect fancy things and you know I would have a fancy bar set. So here is a two-sided jigger and this is used to measure out your um, alcohol and it has a beautiful mother of pearl handle. You have your strainer, which is really, really nice. 
you have your mixing spoon so if you need to mix your drinks up you have that there I think that's beautiful this set actually came with a cheese knife and that's really nice because a lot of times you have wine and cheese or you know you have cheese with your drinks and then you have your bottle opener every bar needs a bottle opener to open up those beers and different types of bottles and I forgot uh, to bring those down they're actually in the laundry room because I needed to wipe everything down during our event but you also want to have some bar towels just the little white cotton towels to wipe up any spills and things like that another essential bar tool is your shaker so uh, you know everyone knows you need a shaker to mix up those mixed drinks and so our shaker just pretty much has all the essential pieces that it needs inside and you can just make the perfect drink now another thing I like to do to keep our you know bar top this is like where the people stand like when they're standing on the opposite side this lip here where you would serve the drinks you also want to just keep um, you know maybe little bowls of uh, nuts or candy mint in case somebody's trying to you know kick it to somebody you don't want them to have stinky breath they can grab a mint from the bar but you want to keep it stocked with little things like that i have this beautiful little nut this um beautiful little nut dish there's no nuts in it right now but i keep that on the bar and i fill it with nuts most of the time and you keep your coasters up here as well and another thing you want to make sure that you keep at your bar are your juices and things that you're going to mix your drinks with. Um, that can be whatever it is you want it to be. Orange juice, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, grapefruit juice, um, you know, ginger ale. You can have your Coke, Diet Coke. Just have all of your mixers available. You don't have to have every single one. If you want to just offer a few types of, um, you know, drinks to mix items with, that is fine. Now, you guys, if you've been watching me, you know my absolute favorite drink is a combination of this Crown Royal Apple mixed with a splash of cranberry and some ginger ale. This combination right here that's my drink that's my signature drink my go-to all the time one day I'll show you how to make it and another quick tip if you have a bartender or someone is acting as your bartender while you're hosting a party it's always cheaper to go with the larger uh, liter bottles like the two liter bottles for example when this is on sale you can get this for 77 cents at the grocery store and you can make this go a lot further than trying to buy the smaller individual cans like that um, you know it's prettier it's nicer to give the cans out but if you're just making a drink or mixing the drink I would just go ahead and use the larger um, two liters to kind of save on uh, cost when you're doing your parties and I would save the individual cans just for display for show or if someone only wanted to drink a you know a non-alcoholic beverage they can have the can if they prefer to have their drink in a cup or a glass instead of the can I would then also use the liter to pour the drink in the um, cup and preserve my cans because the cans are a lot more expensive than buying the two liters another bar central that I forgot to share are toothpicks now I have regular toothpicks but they're upstairs and I do not feel like going upstairs to grab them but I also have these cute little um, football party appetizer picks you know they also go along with our little football uh, theme that I showed you there I'm telling you we bought everything out of Party City like 15 years ago I mean we had so much stuff and we'll we still have a lot of that stuff left over but make sure you have toothpicks that could be for appetizers that could be also for you know having food stuck between your teeth just make sure you have pick, toothpicks at your bar and you also want to make sure that you have 
straws because some individuals like to have straws with their drinks so make sure that your bar is stocked with straw now i wanted to share with you some of my quick tips on how i cut cost when i'm trying to um, serve alcoholic beverages at my functions because you all know that alcohol can get very very expensive um, to serve during a party so my tip number one is that you don't have to have everything start small you don't have to have a massive amount of liquor of every type and uh, brand at your bar I would start off with just a light liquor so you can either do a vodka or tequila and it could be a middle of the road it doesn't have to be top shelf you could do something like Tito's that's a great price point for a vodka and then you could get a dark drink uh, any dark drink of your choosing so you have a light and a dark and start with that and it's good to go another tip is that you want to make your mixed drinks with the lower shelf or the mid-tier alcohols and then you would save your shots you know the um, higher end or more costly uh, types of alcohol for your shots like your pure shots you don't want to just mix the good um, alcohol into a mixed drink because you're not going to be able to tell the difference another way to cut on cost is to use the two liters instead of the individual cans another tip when um, for cutting costs when stocking your bar is not to use expensive use very inexpensive a bar or stemware most of all of my bar stemware has come from the Dollar Tree. These glasses, Dollar Tree. These mugs, Dollar Tree. These cups here are Dollar Tree. My beer glass here is Dollar Tree. So buying inexpensive barware in clear, just plain clear, would look classy and it's very inexpensive and easy to replace. Another tip um, for saving on alcohol is when you have guests come over and they ask what to bring, you can always ask them to bring a bottle. And I would um, be specific on what you need them to bring in terms of a bottle because if you have a ton of you know clear um, liquor and you need more of the dark liquor, be specific. Say, hey, can you bring a bottle of Crown Royal? Or hey, can you bring a bottle of Tito's vodka. I would um, shy away from asking them to bring a bottle of liquor that's, you know, more than $50 or the top shelf, but just something that's mid level. Um, you can ask them to bring the Bacardi rum or some Grey Goose. Or so that's a respectable price point for, um, you know, someone bringing alcohol to your home. And then that way you can stock your bar up. You're providing the food and each person is that's coming is providing a bottle of alcohol. And my last tip on keeping you know the cost of alcohol down is to make one specialty drink you can make a large punch and put it in a beverage dispenser and that's your alcoholic drink for the night and that way you can use inexpensive alcohol it doesn't have to be mid-tier or top shelf um, alcohol so guys I hope you enjoyed my what's in my bar video hopefully you got some tips and some tricks and ideas and enjoyed this type of video and if you're interested in getting one of these fabulous beverage units from New Air, be sure to check my description box below for the link. And so until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye, guys.